This time on Project 49. We flat the primer down. Try to cut okay. tempered glass. You went to a glass company and they yeah. said, no, you can't cut this. Um, and Steve-O paints the car. Welcome back, folks. Now, you may remember we left the car looking like this. This isn't actually the paint job. However, if I ever start a drag racing team, this is 100% going to be the name and the colour scheme. On the sats, there's any kind of video on the first pilot I did. I've done a second video. It's probably about a 20 minute video. And then I looked at it and I had a roll shift door. So the light was just reflecting on the glass. I've done it where I've gone like, right, record. Yep. And I've just taken a picture of my nose. Half an hour and I've like, ah, <laughs> this stuff is actually called guide coat. Now you sand all of this stuff off and it leaves a primer underneath silky smooth. What happens is the guide coat will get in any of the imperfections, any of the texture, low spots, high spots, and we can flat it all off so that the primer is mint. The thing is we need to do it absolutely everywhere, every square inch. Skimp on this bit and the texture will come through into the paint finish and we'll look bad. We're not going to make you sit and watch hours and hours more rubbing, so let's skip ahead a bit, shall we? Now it's time to give the body a, a thorough blown over and the grease ready for seam sealer. So, uh, two windscreens here. If you look, um, the top one is an original screen. The bottom one is a reproduction who I had a friend cut for me. He cuts glass. Now, I don't know where we've gone wrong here, but it's very wrong. It's just, yeah, I, I don't know whether he's used a later screen maybe, or um, yeah, or what, but we've ended up with our new screen being wrong. Now, this is, a, this is another friend's screen who's lent to me for a pattern, which I could use, but if you look there, can you see that logo? Let's show on the uh... yeah. Does it show? Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. So that is uh, like late fifties, sixties secure it logo. And then if you look at this one, see that? It's what they call a big secure it logo, which is correct. So to maybe ninety nine point nine percent of the world, maybe more, <laughs> it doesn't actually matter. Yeah. But to me it does. <laughs> so I want to have the correct logo on my screen. So my choices are either try and find a early 50s windscreen, which is pretty much impossible. And if you are going to find one, you're going to pay for it. Um, try and get my friend to cut another one, which he didn't seem to be keen on because he said he was so busy. Uh, or try and cut it ourselves. Now, everyone says that tempered glass you can't cut. Yeah, um, but we even went to a glass company. You went to a glass company and they yeah. said, no, you can't cut this. We've had a look about, and what we've got is these. What are they again, Dan? Uh, diamond discs. Little diamond discs. So like for a Dremel. Four quid. Yeah, for that whole pack, yeah. And a Dremel. So let's mark the screen up. Do this and we cut inside the, the Sharpie line. Imagine there's a bit of a margin for error as well, isn't it? You would have thought so. Because at the time, this wouldn't even fit in the bloody, it wouldn't even fit in the aperture, would it? We tried no. it. I think we've actually got that on the last video, haven't we? Uh, I've got the footage. 
No, I can't be that bad. Let's try, try touching the top in first. This ain't gonna f***ing work. So it's gonna like talk to us ourselves. Well, it's either gonna work or it's gonna explode. So it's, that's the thing with this, it's gonna be like no middle ground. <laughs> okay, so. For context, it's probably about sort of six mil ish this end. A bit more of that. And then probably getting close to 10 this end. Alright. So what do you reckon? I'm about half speed. Medium speed. <laughs> and, and why medium speed? Um, they reckon, so with tempered glass, it's about storing the energy. So they heat it up and then quickly cool it and it stores the energy in it. So if you go at it with something that's got too much energy, like a grinder or something like that on full speed, that's what actually makes it explode. All right. So would you, would you cut into it or would you just like go like an angle grinder and start wearing I reckon if you go, say like this bit, yeah. and see how well it f sort of files and then try cut it down here. All right. I might get some glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, get some glasses, yeah. Really? Safety that. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually terrifying, isn't it? Cutting, but I can't believe that's going to make its way all the way around the whole thing without it breaking. Do you know what I think? Well, we'll carry on, shall we? Bit chip then. The other thing is, it's going to take six months. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Blown up. It hasn't blown up, but can hell, dude. You you're gonna be there forever. Yeah. I think we've done like about an inch. We've done about no, not even an inch. Well, that bit you've cleaned off that bit. everywhere like it's not actually see it's gone in at the back there yeah i'm calling bullshit on this dude it I hasn't it hasn't shattered no. but i think the the chance of making it oh God, it's hot the chance of making it all the way around like it would not only take Ages. days <laughs> yeah um i'm also worried about dog's feet in here now yeah so we need to get a good good sleep up um but I am going to say, if you have a look there. Yeah, it's very chippy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, say the that anyway, our information is bullshit. I think the information is good, but it's gonna take you ages. I think if you scored it this side, scored it that side, then cut, you won't get the chip in. Mm. Um, but I think it's gonna be you're going to be at it for like the next six months. Yeah. I mean, there is a groove in there. Have you ever you get a close up of that? Yeah, that's what I mean. It, it's working, it's cutting, it's not exploding, but man, that's going to be slow going. So we say, either spend a whole day trying to cut this down for that logo, yeah. or just fit the later screen. Yeah, that's your choice, I think. I think it might have to be a later screen. What are you thinking? Yeah, I think for the the time that we're going to spend doing it, um, 
feel like it's free. Okay. 20 minutes later. Um, so uh, we just heard, <laughs> we were standing up here and we just heard a bang. It's, it's fully exploded. Yeah. Myth busted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's, uh, I'd say that's f mate. Yeah. A quick note here, this was fine while we did it and then just randomly exploded. If we did manage to get all the way around, it likely mm. would have still exploded at a later date. Maybe into Ned's lap while he was driving. For that reason alone, we would say this is a bad idea. Do not recommend. So back to the build, and what we are looking at here is the seam sealer. This has been done in every gap, every joint, anywhere that could potentially hold water or be a moisture trap. Now, would the 49 have been seam sealed like this from Wolfsburg? Probably not, uh, definitely not to this extent. But Ned is going for longevity here. He wants this car to still be around in 80 years time. So we've come this far, why not? So you sat through us rubbing, we've spent hours doing it, and it all comes down to this moment. The most satisfying part of the job. I could sit here and watch this all day, so I'll shut up and you can just enjoy Steve-O doing his painty thing. So there we have it folks, the colour Nerd has gone for is satin black and we think it looks amazing. What do you think? Let us know down below. I'm not your average customer dude. <laughs> oh that looks so good. It does look like it. <laughs> Knock it off the rack. Yeah, no, no, I elbowed it. Elbow. Yeah. I walked along and I was like, knocked my elbow there. I dropped that going upstairs. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's all he, right. He was so like, like yeah. right on the back of it, there's like a little mark, but I like fucking went. And you know when you're holding it, and I thought, I'd rather just land on my chin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then, 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 so I like, fell off both of my fucking elbows. Like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh mate, this is f***ing great, I love it. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Yeah. And I really like that, you know, there is there is little mm. defects and, yeah. you know, like that dent. It's just, it, it looks used, doesn't it? That's the point. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's a used f***ing car. You've got to remember what it was. Yeah. And I think to make it perfect isn't realistic. It's just, it, it, it was never perfect to begin with at the start. And like, to make it perfect would have been as always folks thanks for watching and joining us um, your support means everything so thank you very much we'll see you next time when we bolt all everything back onto the shell and uh, get it back to hq and, and build it up start building the shell thanks for watching